In this video, let us solve problems based on frustum of a cone. And here we've got a problem which reads like this. It says, if the radii of the circular ends of a conical bucket, which is 45 cm high, are 28 cm and 7 cm, find the capacity of the bucket. Use pi equals 22 by 7. So the capacity of the bucket means the volume of the bucket. So what you have to do is, you've got the data here, you've got the height of this frustum, right? Now this is definitely a frustum. The radii of the circular ends of a conical bucket are 28 centimeters and 7 centimeters. Definitely it's a frustum. Frustum of a cone. You know, something like this. You've got this cone and then just cut a part of it like, you know, something like cut it here. Then you get like this. If you invert this, what you get is a bucket. Something like this. All right, so that's the thing now. So we need to find the volume of this bucket now. So the data is given, the height is given, the R1 and R2 is given. So let us solve this problem now. So now the capacity of the bucket is given by, capacity of the bucket is given by 1 by 3 times pi h times R1 square plus R2 square plus R1 R2, right? So all you have to do is, this is the formula to find the volume of the bucket and just substitute in it. And well, it's as straightforward as it can come. It's a very simple problem. So let's solve this now. So 1 by 3 times pi is 22 by 7. The height is 45 centimeter and R1 square. So let's take 28 centimeters R1. So it becomes 28 times 28. There is 28 squared plus R2 squared is 7 squared plus 28 times 7, R1 times R2, right? So 3 goes 15 in 15 times in 45. And solving the rest of it, we get 48,510 centimeters cube. You just have to square this, square this, and multiply, and then add. It's a basic board mass kind of a operation so you solve this and you get this so what you have to know here is you need to first be able to identify that what we're talking about here is a frustum that's the main point see there is the word frustum is not used here so you need to learn how to identify it as a frustum so it says if the radii radii means plural there is more than one radius so definitely and if there is conical in the same sentence then we're definitely talking about frustum then you've got a height Capacity of the bucket means the volume of the bucket, so it definitely is a frustum. Okay, so capacity means you're finding the volume. That's all. So this ends this problem. Before I conclude this video, let us quickly solve another problem based on the frustum of a cone. All right, so here we've got a problem which reads this way. The radii of the circular ends of a frustum of height 6 centimeters are 14 centimeters and 6 centimeters respectively. Find the lateral surface area and the total surface area of the given frustum. But in the previous problem, in the same video, we solved a problem based on the volume of a frustum. Whereas in this problem, we are going to find out the lateral surface area and the total surface area of the given frustum. All right, so we've got two radii. So that is R1 equals 14 centimeters and R2 equals 6 centimeters. And we've got the height H as 6 centimeters as well. So now, to find the total surface area and the lateral surface area, we definitely need the slant height, which is, say, if this is the frustum, the slant height is this, L. So we need to find L, where L is given by square root of h squared plus R1 minus R2 the whole square, right? So let us substitute the values. We've got h is 6, so therefore 6 squared is 36, 36 plus 14 minus 6 the whole square which gives us 36 plus 14 minus 6 is 8 and 8 squared is 64. 36 plus 64 is root of 100. So square root of 100 is nothing but 10 centimeters. So therefore, the slant height is found to be 10 centimeters. Right? So now, therefore, we can find the lateral surface area. So the lateral surface area is given by pi times r1 plus r2 times L and pi is given as 22 by 7, R1 is 14 and R2 is 6 times the slant height that we found now. So 
the whole centimeter square, right? So now we've got 22 by 7 times 14 plus 6 is 20, 20 into 10 is 200. So solving this, we get 628.57 centimeters squared. So therefore, the lateral surface area of a given frustum is 628.57 centimeters squared. And what we've got left to find out is the total surface area. So the total surface area is given by pi times r1 squared plus r2 squared plus r1 plus r2 times l we've already found l to be 10 so all we have to do is just substitute 22 by 7 is pi open brackets we've got r1 squared 14 squared is 196 we've got r2 squared so 6 squared is 36 and we've got r1 plus r2 is 14 plus 6 which is 20 20 times l is nothing but 10 so 20 times 10 is 200 that's what i'm writing here so we get 22 by 7 times on adding this you get 432 centimeters square which is equal to 1357.71 centimeters square so on solving this you get 1357.71 centimeters square so therefore the total surface area of the given frustum is found to be 1357.71 centimeters square all right so this was a simple problem the word frustum was given so it was easy for you to identify that we are talking about a frustum in this video and all you had to know was the formula of the lateral surface area and the total surface area. Well, of course, before which you need to know the slant height length L equals root of square root of h square plus R1 minus R to the whole square. Because you need that, you need the value of the slant height to substitute in the formula of lateral surface area and total surface area. Well, this, this is it. This ends this video as well as this problem. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on frustum of a cone. Thank you.